Why would a first world alien opt to have a brood of dumb children rather than one smart one? Itria are an odd race. Like many species on the planet they can selectively position themselves along the R, K reproductive strategy spectrum. Our species are those, like some species of frog, fish or insect, that throw out thousands of, expendable, but cheap, children in the hope, that enough of them will survive to adulthood. K species are those that instead focus lots of resources into a small handful of offspring, so they stand a much higher chance of surviving. The Itri have evolved so that in times of dire need they can adopt an R-style strategy, while in times of plenty they instead opt for a K-style strategy. Itri females, when first impregnated, have hundreds of fetuses in their womb. They then gestate these for a minimum of two months, after which they can opt to give birth to a whole brood of small, weak, ravenous children that are capable, but ultimately expendable. Or they can delay the birth. The still gestating children will begin to consume each other over time, in ways facilitated by the mother and also quite literally eating each other. At any point up to about a year, when only one child remains and preventing the birth is no longer an option, the mother can release the children into the world. Now, the children that stay in the womb are demonstrably larger, stronger and smarter than those that are born earlier. A brood of a hundred children that were born after two months and then had a year to develop will never physically or mentally match up to a child that gestated for a year and then had two months, though they will eat more. This is an acceptable trade-off for almost every species on the Itri's home planet, as it lets them deal with a wide variety of seasonal changes. Well-fed creatures or those in positions of security have fewer children, while those living in uncertain times or climates fire and forget whole broods in the hope that some children will survive the lean times and make it through to the other side alive. But the Itri are, for want of a better word, industrialized. They have advanced medicine, agriculture, engineering, robotics, science etc. They are very much at a technological and social level equivalent to that of a modern-day first world country. In such a world there is no need, unlike in their early industrial period, where more children meant bigger earning potential for itri parents to need or even want large broods of dumb, weak children when they could instead give birth to one or two smart, strong ones. There is a strong social stigma attached to abandoning one's children, so fire and forget is even less of a sensible option. Given that the mother can always choose to delay the birth, why would a itri parent still opt to go down the R reproductive route rather than sticking with K? It is tough to be pregnant. Get it over with. It is not easy to be pregnant. It is physically taxing and draining. Sentient females given the option may choose not to become pregnant at all. There is some thought that some phenotypic human traits e.g. concealed ovulation evolved to make it harder for women to predict when they would be fertile, which made it more difficult to avoid being pregnant, and consequently there was higher genetic fitness and those traits spread. Many, most, people choose what is best for themselves, not for their society or species. Because of biology your yitri might have great difficulty avoiding becoming pregnant. Pregnant females might rationally opt to get pregnancy over with as soon as possible, which means the R route. 